Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com here, and today it's just gonna be a real quick video tutorial because I'm extremely busy. Uh, so basically, I've had a couple of people ask me how exactly you set up an iOS app icon, the actual icon with the rounded corners and all that, uh, because just recently, a few days ago, I launched the sixth designcourse.com design challenge, which is about iOS app icon design, which you can still enter if you visit the design course forums and check out the design contest forum. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is just go over in Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop how you set up the document along with the proper icon structure. All right, so if you haven't yet, check out designcourse.com and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. So first, we'll start with Photoshop here. And, you know, some people say don't use Photoshop for app icon. Well, just disregard them. They're the elitist assholes, basically. Uh, because, you know, the app icon size, I believe, for for iOS is like 1024 by 1024. As long as you stick to 1024 by 1024, you're fine. Now, I know for our contest recently, I specified 512 by 512, but that's just to make it easier for us to just to show it off or display it or whatever. Uh, so the first thing you need to do, and you don't even rely on this tutorial right at the present time, because you may watching it, you may be watching this several months down the road, and then all of a sudden, Apple uh, or Android changed up their icon specifications or requirements, all right? So what you wanna do, and this is from yesterday's tutorial, I just finished recording that. Uh, what you wanna do is look for the official docs about it. So uh, iOS app icon launcher, uh, guidelines. I mean, I haven't searched for this, so I'm just doing it right now. Um, icon and image sizes. And it tells, it has a whole page for you here that lets you know the general sizes. So the app icon for the App Store, which is required for all apps, is 1024 by 1024. So the launch image, now that's the actual uh, full image, like when the uh, app is loading, that's right here. Uh, then you have all these other ones. So you have the app icon, uh, the app icon for the store, 1024 by 1024, and pretty simple. So file new, oops, not open, file new. What you would do is set it to 1024 by 1024 pixels at 72, which is web-based, RGB, transparent or white, doesn't really matter, hit OK. And then what you would do is select the rounded rectangle tool. And before I begin, what we need to do is bring this back up and let's click over here and see if we can find corners. Okay, so I... Uh, Let's see here real quick. You can upload a the actual app icon as a square, and they automatically place a mask over it. Uh, but generally when you're designing an app icon, you kind of want to see what it's going to look like in the end, which is why you apply the corners. So for uh, 1024 by 1024, the border radius is... 160. So left click here once, specify 1024 by 1024. Now, if you were using 512 by 512, the radii, radii would be 60. Uh, no, 80, sorry. It would be 80 on each corner. But since we're using double that, it would be 160. So 160, 160, 160, 160. Move that over here into place with your your keyboard arrows, and there you go. So whatever goes in here is you're going to be your app icon. Uh, and again, you could just go to image, image size, scale that down to 5, 12, and everything would remain exactly as it needs to be. So what I like to do generally when I'm designing the app icon is for this layer right here, this this background, 
control shift n to create a new layer and then any layers that you add additionally onto this should be clipping masks for the most part that way you can add design in here specifically that will not be shown outside of this area otherwise you run the risk of it clipping or coming out here or whatever but but either way um I just like to use clipping masks for whatever's going to be going on inside of the actual app icon. All right, so that's how you do it in Photoshop. And then another tip, by the way, if you want to try to show off or present your app icon, what I like to do is to create a larger document. So if I go to File New, um, let's try like 1600 by 1200. All right, we'll fill it in with a color. So what I like to do is once I'm ready and I have the app design app icon designed as I want it, I will take everything and just group them and then duplicate that group or right click and hit duplicate and then hide the initial one that has all the layers and then take this and then just hit control E then control C control E merges everything and then control V to paste that in make it so we can see it the background. Boy, that looks ugly. And then uh, I'll move that over here. And then what you could also do is go to image, image size, uh, 512, control A, control C, and then probably go to canvas size and make it bigger to, for the width. Make this bigger. And that way you get to show all the different sizes of the app icon just like that. And by the way, if you wanted to save these, of course, you would uh, go to File, Save As, as a PSD, obviously, and then Save for Web, and then change it to like a PNG 24. And that way you can actually use them as a part of an app icon, launcher icon. All right, so that's how you do it for Photoshop. Very simple. Uh, that's how you work around with it. And then uh, Illustrator, File New. You could do the same thing. You could use uh, pixels here, not centimeters. Uh, either 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024. You should always probably just use 1024 uh, if you're seriously going to create an icon. It's going to be used for an app. And hit OK. You have over here a rounded rectangle tool. Left click, same thing. You know, 1024, 1024, and 80 and 80. No, what am I doing? 160 and then very simple there you go so if you wanted to make it an illustrator you can do that as well so it's very simple to get your app icon set up in either Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop alright so just a quick video for you I'm actually quite busy today that's why I kinda <laughs> did a real quick one uh, so yeah check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet subscribe here on YouTube and I'll see you tomorrow with a new tutorial alright goodbye